Oh, I gotta let my hair down for this one. Oh, New York election results. <laughs> oh, you guys are having fun. There's a couple of people having fun on, on my account because Miss Alessandra Ocasio Cortez won. She won. Wow, holy shit, you guys, the left. Oh my god, fucking, oh my god. She won. Oh my god, Miss Cortez. <laughs> All right, so, so New York, I was wrong about one, one, one of 27. <laughs> so I'll read it off, right? So there's 27 <clears throat> congressional seats, and the, the, last night was. New York State is the only state in the country that has separate state and federal elections. I just found that out last week. I didn't even know. I thought it was all all the elections were uh, yesterday, June 26th. But it turns out it was just the, the federal election. So all the congressional seats were up for grabs, right? And uh, there's, 27 election, there's 27 congressional seats in New York State. And... Um, some are Democrats, some are Republicans. So 26 out of 27 safely went in the hands of the incumbents. 26 out of 27, right? In uh, one, it was a Republican incumbent. Bow, won. Uh, Congressional District 2, Republican incumbent, he won. Three through 10, all Democratic incumbents, all, all, they all won. Some of them, most of them were unchallenged. 11 is a Republican. In my district, I'll just talk about that for a second. In my district is 11, where I live here in Brooklyn, is uh, uh, a Republican incumbent, but he beat a favorite, right? It was uh, Dan Donovan beat uh, Michael Grimm, who was, uh, he just got out of prison for <laughs> for fraud, right? And he tried to, he tried to beat uh, Dan Donovan. He lost, so the incumbent won. But on the Democratic side, the, the gentleman that I interviewed, Max Rose, uh, uh, won handsomely. So we'll, we'll try to talk. Max, if you're out there, I'd like to talk to you about that million dollars you took from out of, out of uh, district, uh, 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 from out of the district where that million dollars came from. I'd love to know how you did it. I love you, Max. Give me a call. All right, so... And then uh, incumbent uh, Republican, uh, incumbent Democrats in 12 and 13. So Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez in District 14 wins. She beats Joe Crowley, 10-term incumbent. Wow, how did she do it? Right? Joe, what happened? Joe Crowley, give me a call. Joe, what happened? You got, you got, you're so embedded in New York, what happened? You let a 28-year-old chick beat you? What happened? Right? So, maybe they rigged it for her. Maybe you got to throw... You, you know, Democrats are not stupid. You got to throw them... You got to throw those lefties a bone. Keep their... You know... <laughs> right? <laughs> Did they throw her a bone? They, they took 20... They retained 26 out of 27 seats, the incumbents. And, and the lefties got one. They got a 28-year-old female, Hispanic, very much into immigration, ab abolish ICE, abolish ICE, right? that's perfect, right? She's anti-Trump, abolish ICE, get rid of ICE, right? That's her, that's her, she's, she, look, she's a Bernie crowd, I like, I like her policy, right? But she's outnumbered, she's got, no, 26 out of 27, she's going to get to D.C., they're going to, they're going to chew her up, spit her out, they're going to put her in a room, tell her, dial the phone for corporate cash. Two years later, she's not going to remember where she's not going to remember anybody in her hometown, and she's going to become a corporate Democrat just like the rest. Right? That's what's going to happen, Miss Cortez. Give me a call, Miss Cortez. I'd love to speak to you, Miss Cortez. Let's talk. Let's talk. So, so twenty-six out of twenty-seven seats go safely in the hands of the. Incumbents, big change, right? Oh, what a what a consequential, insequential, powerful election we had. All the incumbents win. Not a single fucker on the Democratic side had the balls to run against Gillibrand, Gillibrand, whatever your name is, Miss Kirsten Gillibrand. 
Not a single Democrat had the testicles or the or the, the, the vagina to run against the incumbent Democrat. Why? Because you know you got you can't beat her. They're cheating. <laughs> look, look. The election is November sixth, right? You got to call this shit out, right? You guys are going to celebrate. You're popping corks right now. Alessandra, the best part of Asal, uh, Ms. Cortez winning is that I get to say her name for the next three years. Alessandra Ocasio Cortez. <laughs> you guys are popping corks right now. You think you want a big victory? Enjoy it. I mean, I hate to think, you know, she got four, she got ten, she got 14,000 votes. Joe Crowley got 10. I hate to think that the people inside the party rigged it in her favor. I don't want to think that either because then that's not a victory at all. That's just party politics. You have to join their party, then cheat them. Cheat them to win. Right? Is that what would, is that what would, is that a possibility as well? That the that the leftist progressives cheated to get her you know somehow control the the, the count? It is a possibility because how the hell did Joe Crowley, when 26 out of 27 incumbents successfully retained their seats, how did Joe Crowley get fucked? Did they cheat? Or is it just a bone? Because we know we can't, we know for a fact on the DNC's own testimony that the Democratic primaries are fake. They are not elections. They are selection processes. They have no ob- obligation to 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 uphold a, a genuine election. So, to the people in District 14, Miss Alessandra Ocasio Cortez's soon-to-be district, where now Joe Crowley is a lame duck, right? It's your job to hold her feet to the fire. Don't let her go, right? She's a Democrat who 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 took out the incumbent Democrat in the primary. That means she's likely to be appointed to Congress, right? The Republican, it's it's rigged. It's rigged. She will be the next Congresswoman, right? Congratulations. Now, hold her feet to the fire. Don't get too happy. Pressure her. Get behind her. And make sure she does her fucking job. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, YouTube blogger, and a real independent candidate for the United States Senate to upseat Kirsten Gillibrand November 6th or 7th, whatever it is. In November, when the election actually happens, Kirsten Gillibrand and and Shell Farley, the Republican, I'll be right in the middle of them as an independent, a true independent candidate for the United States Senate. Peace out.